Hey, it's Kelly with Ready, Set, Drone. I've done a couple of tips and tricks videos around drones and quadcopters, but I haven't done an FPV one yet, so this is it. So check it out. So I've been flying a lot of FPV lately with my friends and uh, have been noticing some mistakes that everybody seems to make right off the bat when they're getting started. Uh, flying FPV is not easy, uh, but if you practice, you can get better and better. And these tips will definitely help you avoid some of the common mistakes that beginners make when they're flying FPV. So there's seven of them. Let's start with number seven. Number seven is turning your head, getting dizzy, and forgetting about your body position while you're flying FPV with the goggles on. It can be very disorienting, and it can really make you feel dizzy and feel like you're going to have some problems. So uh, take it from me, really concentrate on keeping your mouth shut because a lot of times I found myself with my mouth gaping open. Uh, really concentrate on keeping your head straight and not turning it as you're flying because you're not looking in these directions. The camera does that for you. And uh, just really keeping a solid core and a solid neck as you're flying. It'll actually help you from getting, keep you from getting sore and I think it just makes you look cooler all around. Number six is along the same lines as turning your head. It's just situational awareness. Um, I've tried to walk and fly FPV before, and that's not good. You're going to trip and run into something. Um, just knowing what's going on around you, knowing where people are sitting so you don't hit anybody, knowing where you left your remote control, just being situationally aware and making note before you put the goggles on of where everything around you is before you start flying. The number five thing I see a lot of people doing is flying too high or too low. A lot of people fly really high when they're starting out, and that's really not the point of FPV. The point of FPV is to get down low, to be able to go around obstacles, through things. Um, certainly high is good when you need to get out of the way, but try to avoid flying at 20, 30 feet in the air when you're doing FPV, um, at least after you've done it for a little while. It's a great place to start. And also, flying too low um, can be a problem too. By that I mean the ground is a big target and it's pretty easy to hit the ground. If you are going to practice flying low, I recommend doing it over grass, not concrete or sand or something soft. Um, sand might not be great because it might get into your motors, but something that's going to be forgiving when you crash because you are going to crash into the ground if you're flying low. Number four is not testing your camera before you fly. And what I mean by that is you take off and it turns out your camera's at the wrong angle and when the, when the quad pitches forward to fly, the all you're looking at is the ground and you can't see in front of you or it's it's uh, it's at the wrong angle where all you see is the sky. The other thing to really test is the brightness and the contrast in your goggles because there's a lot of contrast difference between a bright sky and grass or ground. So you want to make sure that you're in a balanced position where it doesn't get too dark when you're looking at the ground or too bright when you're looking at the sky. You want to make sure that it's uh, you're able to see both. And if you adjust the brightness and the contrast on your goggles, you shouldn't have any problem with that. So test that out before you fly pick up your quad, put on your goggles, tilt it up, tilt it down, kind of see what it looks like in different positions, see how fast your camera reacts because the camera will adjust for different lighting conditions, but if it's slow, that little bit of difference in brightness or contrast in your goggles can make a big difference. Number three is just forgetting that you're not flying a Phantom or Unique or a Solo. This thing does not have GPS generally. Some, some FPVs do, but, but most of them don't. These things drift, and the other fact is that you are not able to see behind you or beside you. As a matter of fact, uh, earlier today I was flying around a baseball field, came around a corner too fast and ended up in the uh, net that stops the ball from going into the crowd. Uh, I was able to get my quad down, no problem, but it's really just because I was only looking forward and I didn't realize as I came around that corner I was gonna drift and fly into that net. So be aware of right, left, and behind you because you can't see those things Make sure you're giving yourself plenty of time to turn. As you get better, your turns will get sharper, but when you're starting, at least, it's a really good idea to make sure that you are uh, turning with enough space that you don't run into something from the side or the back. Number two is don't forget that those cameras on your FPV quads don't have a whole lot of detail. Things like power lines, things like small branches, even things like chain link, chain link fences are going to be very hard to see in those um, signals, and especially if it's a fuzzy analog signal. So be aware that there's other things that you cannot see. Uh, just today, in addition to running into that uh, net, I also ran into a power line and my drone dropped into the road below. Fortunately, it was a very rugged drone and survived, but uh, you know, I, I thought I was going around the power lines, I just didn't see it, and boom, there it was, it took down my drone. So be aware of the small things that you aren't going to be able to see, like wires, fences, small tree branches, etc. as you're flying. Alright, and the number one thing 
that you really have to be aware of is what channel are you on and what channel is everybody else on? There's two reasons you need to be uh, very aware of that. Number one is you could really mess somebody up by plugging in your transmitter, uh, meaning your, your drone with the transmitter connected to it when other people are on that channel. It throws off their signal if, and if they're flying, uh, there's a good chance they're gonna crash because they suddenly lose their signal. So if you're with a group, be sure you uh, have a system worked out. A lot of clubs and groups that fly together do. Everybody tests before you go in the air, everybody picks a channel, but make sure you're on a channel that's not selected, that's not going to interfere with somebody else's uh, signal. The reverse of that is also true. Quick story, uh, I was flying with my friend Jason uh, we both plugged in our quads and they were sitting right next to each other. We both took off. I was flying like crazy thinking I was doing great. He's a better pilot than me so I thought I was beating him. I was pretty psyched and then all of a sudden I realized I wasn't actually flying my quad. Well I was flying my quad but I wasn't seeing my quad. I was seeing his. So I basically had taken mine off up into the air and into the woods because I was flying it without even looking at it. I was looking at his signal. So make sure if you're racing against other people, pick up your quad and wave it around and make sure that what you're seeing is actually coming from your quad because there would be nothing worse than thinking you're flying your own quad and you're actually flying somebody else's and it ends up lost. Uh, I say that from personal experience. So that's it, seven tips for beginning FPV pilots. I hope that was helpful. Please leave your own tips before. Of course, I got some great tips on my others like a pre-flight check and making sure your batteries are up to snuff and a lot of other good things that you should always do uh, whether you're flying FPV or just a regular quad line of sight. Doesn't matter, there's some important things there. But uh, I'd love for you to leave your own tips. If you're learning how to fly FPV, I've got other videos that will teach you more stuff about it. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Leave your comments below and we'll see you next time. Thanks.